Hello everybody. Unity 5 came out today. Go get it. Um, you should no longer be using Unity 4.6 unless you're doing it for legacy purposes. Unity 5 is just better. All the features that were in Unity 4.6 as pro only are free in Unity 5. And Unity 5 itself is free unless you make 100,000 bucks a year, which I don't think many of you have to worry about this year. So go get Unity 5 and you can get access to all of those pro only features that would have been so nice to have like render textures, shadows, post-processing, audio editing, all of that stuff is free in Unity 5. Uh, there is There are some pro-only things in Unity 5, but none of them are code-related. The one thing I wanted to mention is Unity 5 has some pretty serious improvements. A lot of people talk about the new materials system. That's nice, because the old materials system was crap. But the real improvement here is that uh, asset importing and exporting, streaming asset importing and exporting, is now free. So that means that Unity free users can do asset streaming. And that means that my mod project got the last thing it needed to have. So now all I've got to do is build it. Um, so maybe keep your eye open for that. This month I'll probably put out a few basic tutorials on how to use features that used to be pro only, like render textures. Um, but I'm going to also be focusing on trying to get my modding thing working and showing you why it's worthwhile. It's going to be a rocky month for me. I've got a lot of things uh, on the plate outside of video tutorials. And um, Unity 5 is downloading pretty slow, but that's okay. Uh, gives me time to make stupid videos about how Unity 5 is better than Unity 4.6. Oh yeah, Unreal also went free, so go play with that if you'd like, but Unreal is not quite as beginner friendly, so yeah, some of A, some of B. I hope you have a good couple of weeks, because this has been an excellent week for indie game devs.